guys, my name is Jess, no BS, here we go. So, are IVs important? Yes, they are the most important in the game. I really want to emphasize how important they are. So pretty much, the numbers next to a PAL will indicate if they are maxed out stats out of the pen or out in the wild, okay? You need to spend fruits that are only obtainable from raids to max out a PAL. With that being said, IVs are extremely important because what the whole player base, or rather community, has discovered and done research about is that pals with high IVs, max potential, when bre breeded upon, will have offspring at similar, if not the same IVs. And I have had times where I've obtained pals out of the pen with, well, how about you just take a look? I didn't put the um, fruits on this guy, you see, and the, and it's only because this guy was level 100 and I think one other one was close to level- Oh my- WHAT THE FRONT DOOR?! This is a given guarantee showcase that this in fact is perfect IVs flat out of the pen. Yeah, so that was pretty much my reaction when I first discovered that I had in fact breeded a pal straight out of the breeding farm with perfect IVs. Perfect! You know how rare that is? It is insanely rare, especially for a Blasma Ryu, one of the the hardest raid boss in the game. Now here's the here, here is the main part to this. IVs indicate where your pal stands on the number line of trash pal to maxed out goaded pal. Okay, when you have 100, 100, 100, and they're all yellow numbers, they're good. When they're bland out regular numbers, they're not good. When they're green, it's ideal, okay? But yellow, mmm, <clears throat> delicious. All right, enough of that. That was my two seconds of BS. No, I'm kidding. Okay, so here are the reasons why IVs are extremely powerful. Number one, they can pass over to your offspring. Whenever you're breeding, you really, really, really want to identify which pal has the ideal passives and breed them into your offspring passive. This way, the child will be jacked up. Okay, they're gonna be Asian, they're gonna be playing, they're gonna be playing violin, piano, cello, they're gonna be on the math team, they're gonna be all of that stuff. They, they, who knows, they, they don't even have to be Asian. But, you know, they are just jacked out of their minds. They're all set for the future. The only thing that's keeping them away from being the maxed out potential are their cap or their IVs, okay? Once they have the passives, the IVs are what matters, okay? Once they have the IVs, the passives are what matters. They are both complementary to one another, but they one comes before the other, okay? Number one, they have to have IVs, okay? Number two, passives will, will, eventually they're gonna come all, they're all gonna come into play, alright? And for example on this, my Liberos and my Blasma Ryus, okay? The Bella Noirs, they don't get passives, okay? They just come out with its regular, Serena the Void, which is this static element, and then, like, their, their trashy innate pa uh, passive, which is the abnormal. Okay, it, it takes many, many times to breed. Many, many breeding attempts to get ideal passives. And then you breed that passive to the other. Boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. Okay, passive to passive, passive to passive. Eventually, you get a, a, a four passives of a god tiered pal. But that means nothing when the pal has no IVs, okay? But the passives come first, then the IVs. But then it also matters because once you have that, then it's the IVs that come with the passives, technically. Right, so be because because th this is kind of hard and counterintuitive to explain, but IVs are only scaled up by either just the pal that's out in the wild or by your your involvement of giving them fruits. Each fruit is valued at ten to their stat to one of their categorized stat: health, defense, and strength, or whatever the last one is. All right, here's the kicker uh, from. Let's say 100 uh, HP, uh, defense, and power. They all are at their own value, are from 0 to 100. Each fruit will empower it by 10, okay? So that means that one fruit will give it 10 to their stat. So let's say that HP is at 10, okay? And it needs to get to 100. How many fruits is that? How many of the raids do you have to do? Times 3, by the way, because it's a 30% 30, 30 chance to obtain a certain fruit. Um, uh, how many of that? So that's 27 because 10, you start at 10 and then 100 is, you know, the difference is 90 and then you divide that number by 10 because each fruit is valid at 10. So therefore it takes 9 fruits to get 
Oh, wait, nine health fruits to get from 10 health to 100 health. Now is where the math comes in, right? You times it by three because of the fruit uh, chance and whatnot. And then you need 27 raids, more or less, depending on your RNG and your chances, to get to a 100 on the fruits. Now, the slabs are the issue because slabs are always so annoying to get. They just take so much time to get. The dungeons, you can blitz right through it in like 20 seconds. The boss, you can nuke that thing in like 20 seconds. In like 10, 5 seconds actually. But the thing here is it's respawn time. You can't forcefully respawn these things. Sure, you can max out the time it takes to... uh uh, for, for it to recover, but you're capped at that. So that's why IVs are extremely important because IVs are the are, are, They are the limit to your pal's potential in stats, right? We're talking 100 strength and 0 strength. They're a, they're a stick or they're a log. Okay, which one do you want to be thrown at a, at a boss? Right? You want to throw a stick at them or do you want to throw a log at them? You know, we're, we're talking big numbers here. Okay, this is the difference between a 700 attack power pal and a 2000 attack power pal by those little tiny IVs. And the only way to really amplify it is by, you guessed it, using the fruits. Okay, that's why it's imperative to have high IVs before you're breeding your, uh, your two mommy and daddies into the, into the offspring, right? Or, or no, you're breeding mommy and daddy to make the offspring. That would be weird if they were breeding into... Anyways, um... Yeah, so because IVs have the chance to to carry over, as you have seen in the previous clip of like 30 seconds where I was like, Oh my god, how could this have happened? Right? And this is why once you have obtained the glasses through the cores, right? You need the cores at level 34, you get the cores from the raids. Okay, we're talking Libero. I don't think it's from the regular Bella Noir. I'm, talk I'm thinking Libero and Ultra and uh, Ryu and Ultra and whatnot. And the oil rigs, okay? The oil rigs are, are, are also RNG, okay? So, I mean, it, get j just get good at the oil rigs and then you're, you'll are you be on your way, okay? It takes a lot of time to get to where you see a lot of end game players are at, right? And sure, you can tweak the settings and whatnot, but it still takes time, okay? It still takes time. Time. So, with that being said, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. My name is Jess. Please will like, comment, subscribe. Look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. If you want another video on this matter, focusing on the passives when it comes to breeding, let me know. I have spent thousands of hours on this game. Okay? It sounds like a lot, and it sounds like I don't have a life, but let me tell you, I went to Panera Bread and got my free drink from the Sips Club. Uh, that was embarrassing. But the coffee's good, I will say that much. Okay, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. My name is Jess. Please like. See you next time. Bye!